Hey friends, it is raining outside in Michigan today, which means I need an indoor project. It's not quite time for me to start my next round of seeds, so I am going to start my first round of winter sowing seeds. If you have never winter sown seeds or heard about it, you take seeds and put them in containers outside and you let Mother Nature kind of take care of all the work. So you let them get rained on, you let them freeze, you let them unfreeze, and seeds know when it's time for them to germinate. So you can do this with anything that can handle cold, so perennial flowers, uh, brassicas, lettuces, herbs like thyme, things like that. So I'm going to show you what my first round of winter sowing looks like and how I set those containers up today. Okay, I'm going to start getting on with these things. This is my favorite vehicle right here for winter sowing. I like the milk jug. You're going to find a lot of people also like this. If you search for this online, you'll find other videos and tutorials about this. Um, this is one that I cut already. And all I did was cut around it. I want to leave a good chunk on the bottom. So I kind of cut it where it starts to angle up. So I want to have a good amount of soil in this. I'm going to put soil in here. And I leave the back where the handle is hinged. This way I can open this container because what you're going to do is put this outside now in the winter. You're going to kind of close it up like a little mini greenhouse. You're going to leave the top open for ventilation. It's going to get rained on. It's going to freeze. It's going to unfreeze. Those seeds are going to go through the winter cycle. And then in the spring, when Mother Nature says, hey, it's your time, they're going to start sprouting in here. And while that's fantastic and it helps them get going a little earlier because they're in this little greenhouse, if you get a really warm day, you're going to want to be able to crack these open and give them a little bit of air, in my opinion, because Michigan can be, can be weird. Now, if you live in a climate where you don't experience big temperatures things, maybe yours looks a little different. But here, I need to be able to open or close these depending on the kind of day that we're having until I'm ready to put them somewhere. So today I've got four of these. I'm gonna start four different seeds in them. And let me show you what I'm doing. I'm gonna do all poppies. So I bought some poppy seeds after, after it was already winter time. Normally you can throw poppy seeds out in the fall here and then they will just germinate in the spring or you can put these out four to six weeks before your last frost. So my last frost this year is marked as May 2nd. So about mid-April, I could put these outside and, um, and they would start to germinate outside just as a direct zone. Now, the problem I'm gonna have is that I am moving everything in my driveway this spring. We're repouring a new driveway. So I have a lot of beds that are moving and grooving I might have things kind of different spots. So I didn't want to put these down early this year because my backyard is going to be a construction zone at this time. So I am going to put them each in their own milk jug and then plant them after they have all sprouted. Poppies do not like to be transplanted. Um, they do not like their roots disturbed. So what I'm going to do, I'm not going to pull them out of here one to one. I'm going to put a good amount of soil in here and then I'm going to take this whole block and plant them as a block of poppies somewhere and hope that they do okay. I've never done poppies before as a winter sow, but this is my first experiment. I do think it's going to work. Poppies like the cold. The only concern I have is about transplanting them, but because I'm going to transplant them in a group, I think it's going to be okay. Do not do this and take out one poppy and this poppy and this poppy. That will not work. But because I'm going to do them in a group, I think it's going to be okay. So step one, cut open your milk jug, put drainage holes in the bottom. You don't want these to get soggy on you. Also, a mistake I made the first year, I did all this and then I set them into an old laundry basket so they'd stay together and not blow around my backyard. Not good. Laundry basket held water in the bottom. These drained out of here but stayed right in there and everything got soaked. Put them in a spot on top of grass or soil or something where the water can drain away once it gets out of the bottom of these. All right, let's get going on the rest of these. Okay, I got all holes in the bottom of all of them. I have got them all cut and hinged. Now I'm gonna fill this bottom part up with soil. Okay, so they all got soil in them. And actually this is, I got this from one of my big box stores and it said 
that it was um, soil for raised beds. So I thought it would be looser and I could use it as potting soil. I don't think that I really can. It's got a lot of, um, a lot of material in it, compost, wood chips, and things like that. I think that it'll be fine for winter sowing and I'll use it for that, but I'm going to have to get some more straight up potting soil for my seed starting mixes for next week. So that's kind of a bummer. I added water to all of them and dampened down that top layer though. And I inadvertently checked the holes because I poured water in without a tray on me. So water gets out. We did a good job. Okay. Next thing we're going to do, you're going to label all these with a plastic marker. One year I wrote on the outside of these, duh, I don't care what it says. I don't care how permanent it is. The weather makes it disappear. One year I put wooden things in, they disappear. One year I put tape on it and wrote on the tape, doesn't work. I only use plastic now. So I take these, I reuse them a lot of the time. They're not expensive. Um, so I am going to go ahead and label these and then just put the seeds on top. Mm. Poppy seeds, teeny, teeny, tiny. These ones are black swan poppies. They're just gonna get surface sewn on here. I'm not gonna make any big effort to cover them up. I'm also gonna plant a bunch of them in here because I grew poppies last year and as pretty as they were, they didn't put off much impact on their own. I really wanted to have a big, giant group of them. So this year, that's my goal, to grow big, giant groupings of poppies and see if they work in my landscape better that way. So there's black swan. I'm also doing this one called Nudicol Poppy. There's a picture of it right there. It's pretty. And I'm doing California Poppy. I love the color on that one. Isn't that pretty? Yep. And then this one's called Mikado. So those are the four that I'm going to do. All right, there I go. Now I've got all four of these containers cut, holes in the bottom, soil in here, potting soil ideally. Like I said, this is a raised bed mix, so it's got a little more funk in it that I'd like, a little more stuff. Um, seed sown. I'm going to make sure it's watered good when I put it outside. And then I'm going to leave it. It's going to sit like this outside my backyard. Now, you can take masking or uh, duct tape or something and, and close these back up. I don't bother because I'm putting mine in the backyard right up next to a privacy fence on top of a raised bed. So they're in a very sheltered area. So I don't worry about them too much. You can take the tape and put them around them. Many people do that. Um, but like I said, I probably won't unless I've got one that's staying up and not going back down. But these are going to go outside in the backyard. And in the spring, we'll look for sprouts. Pretty cool, huh? I thought so. Okay, so what I did is I added a winter sow category on my calendar now that I'm winter sowing. And I'm just collecting containers as I go. Milk jugs work, two liter bottles work, any kind of container that you could think, hey, if I cut that in half, it'd be a great little greenhouse. So um, for poppies, I have a whole milk jug because I'm doing a whole bag of them. Things like, let's see down here, like chamomile. I'm just going to do a little bit of chamomile. Some of these other herbs, just a little bit of those. So I could use a smaller container. So this is my plan for January. I just did poppies. For the next two weeks, I'm going to get all my perennial flowers. So columbine, bee balm, echinacea, any of those kind of things. I'm going to go ahead and get buckets of those done. And then I'm going to add lavender into that mix one week. And the next week, I'm going to put my chamomiles. They both can be okay. And then any other herb I have that I think will do okay, I will put out on that last week of January slash first week of February. The only thing I'm really not going to do for herbs, I'm not going to put any basil out there. Basil really likes the heat. Uh, I don't think that it will do well. I'm just going to start all my basil inside. But most of the other ones probably will be okay outside. Um, yeah, I think so. So that's my plan. I hope that you liked winter sewing. If you have any questions, put them in the comments. Or if you have any best practices that you want to share with everybody else, we would appreciate those as well. Have a great day.